Hey, hey, hello, and welcome, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. It is Tuesday, but that doesn't matter because Sh Shadow Slave Tuesdays is now Shadow Slave Week this week. <gasps> what? The best Christmas gift ever. <laughs> I just cannot get enough. I need more, and I need to get further fast <laughs> if we will ever fucking catch up so why not shadow slave week here we fucking go um i hope you are all doing good you better be shadow slave will make you feel better don't worry everything will be fine <laughs> <coughs> And we are festive today as well. So nice, look at it. So nice. <laughs> mm. What happened last time? Last time we um, we bought all the memories. The stone saint did not want to break the black armor, which we suspected. And she was just like, hmm sad about it she's like no i don't want this so we're like fine we'll keep it um then we talked to yeah, well, before that well we talked to neff and everything met caster kai met them cassie's avoiding us and neff wants us to help them by well, well Help them with the whole expedition thingy. But the first step is to... Um, Gunlog has a... Um, uh, uh, Gunlog wants to kill Effie. 
<laughs> somehow. Hello! Uh, good luck wants Effie. So, we are now uh, on a mission for a week to take care of Effie at home. Um, in the cathedral, in the outskirts. Or is the outskirts where the people who isn't in the castle... Is that what the outskirts is called? I don't know where the fuck we are. I forget. We're in the danger zone. <laughs> um, and uh, taking care of Effie is fun and interesting. Hello, Meowdy. Yes, outskirts is the part right outside the gates. That's right. The dark city, you're right. <laughs> I feel like everything is the dark city. And the outskirts and the castle is just located in the dark city. But I guess the actual city, city. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for stopping by, though. Good, no spoilers for you. Enjoy. <laughs> um... But yeah, Effie's fun. <laughs> Interesting. Hello! Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ha. Last time? He didn't kill anyone last time. He's only killed the the leader of the one that put Kai in the in the well and Harper here. Um Oh, yeah, 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 but he didn't kill all. I mean, technically he did, but technically he did not. But yes. Yeah, yeah, that's why she's targeted, right? So we have to protect her for a week, and then we will decide if we're going to go with Neff and the others or not, which we probably will. But that's where we are right now, and uh, something very interesting is about to happen, because right now we're going to learn some new tricks. <laughs> Maybe with Effie? Mm. <laughs> it was one of those sessions last time. So um, we'll see where we're going with this one. <laughs> um, very interesting. But we'll just continue right away. A lot of Shadow Sleep this week. Hype, hype, hype. <laughs> Under the same roof with Effie, we're gonna learn some new tricks. <laughs> Chapter 183. Learning new tricks. Your shadow grows stronger. With a rather unpleasant noise, the monsters had felt the monster's head fell down. Sonny indifferently bent his arm and wiped the midnight shard on the sleeve of his armor, watching as the massive body slowly topple over. Standing on the other side of it, the stone saint simply flourished her sword in a flourished her sword in and stopped it abruptly mid-swing, sending every drop of blood flying to the ground. Then she just stood there, absolutely still, pretending to be a statue. She she kinda is. Not really. Well, she looks like. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I have to turn on my light. Sunny side. That's a cool trick. I should learn it. Honestly, cleaning his blade in the puppeteer shroud was not very fair to the tier 5 armor. He felt guilty. Watch my back. With the taciturn shadow observing the surroundings, he summoned the prowling thorn and used it to recover the soul shards from the carcass. This was the fourth nightmare creature Sunny had killed this night. With the help of the stone saint, his hunts became much easier than before. <clears throat> Not even mentioning the fact that the shadow was as powerful as most of his marks, the mere fact that he had a partner to draw the enemy's attention away changed a lot of things. Sonny was somewhat capable of, but preferred, to avoid engaging in direct battle with these abominations. 
His way of doing things was to strive from the shadows and ideally strike from the shadows and ideally kill the enemy with a single strike. If everything went smoothly, the prey would never even see its killer. Of course, such a hunt hunting method required a lot of cunning, patience and preparation. He had to observe the enemy for a long time to learn its behavior and weaknesses. The confrontation itself took just a few seconds, but only because days had, had <laughs> but only because days had been spent in advance to make that immediate resolution possible. After hunting in that meticulous way for three months, Sunny felt strange simply overpowering the strain. The fourth night, what? Where was Fortnite? There was nothing about Fortnite. <coughs> he had to observe the enemy for a long time to learn his behavior and weaknesses. The confrontation itself took just a few seconds, but only because days had been spent in advance to make that immediate resolution possible. I don't see anything in Fortnite. I said the fourth nightmare. Anyway, <laughs> I don't care. After hunting in that meticulous way for three months, Sunny felt strange simply overpowering the monsters with brute force. The combination of Stone Saint's indomitable defense and his swift blade was nothing short of miraculous. It was almost like fighting side by side with Neff. Almost. With a sigh, Sunny threw the soul shards into his rucksack and stood up. He was facing a problem that he had never expected to face. It was honestly rather bizarre. He was running out of monsters to kill. Ha! Huh? What? I, I guess they don't like. It's not like they respawn, but it's like, is it poss possible to kill all of them? I guess it should be maybe. Awakened nightmare creatures weren't that abundant in the dark city to begin with, let alone those whom he had already tracked, studied, and felt confident attacking. After tonight's massacre, pretty much every one of them was dead. Sunny had cleaned the house. But he was so much stronger now, so much more dangerous. With the help of the Stone Saint, maybe there was no need to be so cautious. No, this is how you get yourself killed. True. This was a dangerous mindset. Despite his recent growth, Sunny was still in no way the, the apex predator in the ruins. In fact, he was the opposite of that. Of all the creatures stalking these streets, he was the weakest. Pride is the gravest of all sins. Next thing you know, you'll be trying to hunt the fallen ones. Mm, in his vicinity, cleared the area. Probably, probably. He's been fucking going. <laughs> Sunny would perhaps survive a confrontation with a fallen beast. Maybe. But actually defeating one was a whole other conversation. And if he had the misfortune to stumble on something of a higher class, his chances of making it out alive would not be very high. He could start investigating one of the awakened creatures that he knew of, or simply go home. However, something was bothering Sunny. There was this feeling in his head that he had a seed of an idea, but then got distracted and failed to fully form it. What was I thinking about just now? Whether or not to hunt again tonight. Whether or not to hunt again tonight. How powerful he had become with the help of the shadow. How it was not very practical to wipe the blood with the sleeve of the puppeteer shroud. All right. Back when he saw the stone saint shake off the blood of her sword, he had thought that this would be a cool trick to learn. And at that moment, he got a feeling that he was onto something. <laughs> what? What? I should learn it. I should learn it. Suddenly, Sunny's eyes became bright. 
if he could learn this trick from the stone saint, what else would he be able to learn from her? This shadow of his had an attribute called Battle Master, which apparently meant that she was proficient in all forms of combat. Was there a better teacher for someone like him? The answer was no. With his technique stagnating because of the lack of guidance, there was no one better than the masterful stone saint to learn from. Suddenly excited, Sunny summoned the Tagaturn monster back into the shadow and headed home. Okay, how is he gonna do this now? <laughs> is he gonna ask? Hello, please teach. By the time he returned to his hidden lair, Effie was already awake. Sitting on the bed, she was lazily staring at the ceiling and whistling a cheerful tune. Her long legs were somewhat covered by the blanket, but still. That white shit in her furs was way too revealing. Sunny had to be very careful to look the other way. It was very hard. Oh, you're back. Good hunt? Instead of answering, Sunny walked over to his chest, glanced at the huntress with suspicion, and opened it. Then he poured the contents of his rucksack inside. Seven soul, short, seven soul shards fell on the pile, which was sadly visibly diminished because of his recent expenses. It was still nothing to scoff at, though. Effie whistled. Seven? How many heads is that? Sunny closed the chest and sat on it. Four. Three monsters and one beast. Effie blinked, a bit stunned. Three monsters? How did you manage to kill three monsters in one night? He hesitated, then sighed. Trying to hide the existence of the stone saint would be very bothersome, especially if he was going to venture on an expedition with Neff's cohort. Out there in the labyrinth, chances were that none of them would be able to hold back to hide their aces. That was if he, that was, if he was even going to agree to it, of course. Anyway, there would be not too much harm in revealing her now, or rather, the benefits outweighed it. I'll show you, just don't freak out. Effie giggled. I'm pretty sure that nothing you're capable of showing can freak me out. <laughs> Ignoring her teasing tone, Sunny glared at the hunters and summoned the saint out of his soul sea. Immediately, two crimson flames ignited in the depths of his shadow. A moment later, the menacing stone knight stepped from it, from it on the floor of the hidden chamber and turned her head to Effie. Effie recoiled. What? What the hell is that? She must know what Echoes is, right? <laughs> she might have never seen one though, since they're so rare. And even if people had them, they wouldn't maybe show them. True, shadows are different. Wow. <laughs> Damn the dark. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> nope. She knows what it is. Yeah, of course, but like an echo in general to just someone one like, oh, what is it like? What have you done to it or some shit? But it's like, uh, okay. Chapter 184, Value of Humility. The mighty hunter stared at the stone saint, her hand hovering in the air, ready to grasp the shaft of the spear. Her beautiful hazel eyes were full of tension and dark anticipation. The contrast between that fierce pose and the fact that she was still comfortably wrapped in a blanket was so funny that Sunny couldn't help but snicker. Gee, relax. Haven't you seen an echo before? Just what I said. Effie blinked. That thing is yours? Wait, you got an echo? He gave her a nod and gestured at the stone saint. Yes, I did. Meet saint. Ain't she a beauty? Oh. <laughs> This is like someone talking about their car, you know? <laughs> the hunter stared at the taciturn creature, then scowled with outrage. You lucky bastard! You do know that I haven't even caught a sniff of an echo after three years in this pit. How dare you get one before me, huh? Sunny laughed. 
Actually, this was my second Echo. The first one got killed in the labyrinth. Effie glared at him for a long time, then shook her head with an expression of utter de dejection. Finally, she turned to the shadow and studied her. Wait, is she what I think she is? Sunny nodded. Yep. The hunter stood up from the bed and, leaving the blanket behind, walked barefoot around the stone saint. She studied her from all angles and then said, How the hell did you manage to kill one of those things and survive? Sunny, who had found himself involuntary, um, involuntary studying Effie from all angles as well, blinked a couple of times and shrugged. <sighs> Actually, they got wiped out by a group of fallen. It was an epic clash, to say the least. I just happened to be there in time to finish one off, and here we are. Effie stared at the shadow with admiration. What class is she? Sunny smiled. Awakened monster. But I watched her kill two fallen beasts, so I'd say she's an elite among her peers. Anyway, you can see how it's not impossible to hunt three monsters in one night with her by my side. I studied them in advance, of course. That's why we were so fast in dealing with them. The huntress crossed her arms, thought for a bit, then gave Sunny a strange look. Why are you showing her to me? With how paranoid you are, I'd expect you to keep such a treasure hidden. He stood up, lingering for a moment, then said, <laughs> Everything comes with a prize! <laughs> with what I have planned, showing her to you is sort of a requirement. Effie grew Okay. <laughs> I'm turning off my phone. <clears throat> I see. Effie grew silent, then gave him a mischievous, mischievous smile. <laughs> ah, sorry to disappoint. Don't get me wrong, I'm up for all kinds of fun. See, I knew it. But, Sunny, nightmare creatures is where I draw the line. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Funny guy! <gasps> Whatever you make it. It's okay. <laughs> Shadow slave, maybe. I know. She does. <laughs> I was told that it's like this one. You will like this one. And I do. <laughs> Time goes too fast. It does. I struggle with this every day. But sometimes it's better. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's hard. Then we do things that are fun, and then it's a bit easier. But every day isn't fun. Harsh reality moment. Okay, bye! <laughs> Everything will be fine! <laughs> I promise. Everything will be better. <laughs> he frowned, not quite getting what she was talking about. Sure. Too innocent. Then, his eyes widened. What? You- what kind of degenerate are you? Training! I wanted to use her for training! Still works, still works, by the way. The unruly huntress blinked in- in- <laughs> Innocently. Training? Sunny, there's nothing wrong with being a bit inexperienced at your age. In fact, it's quite charming. You don't need to resort to this kind of thing, you know. Oh my god. Effie. <laughs> inexperienced? Who are you calling inexperienced? I am plenty experienced. Wait, crap. What are we even talking about? He is not. <laughs> there is no way. There is zero experience in this little man. Dying from laughter, Effie left Sunny to fume with outrage and walked over to the makeshift kitchen while shaking her head. Soon, the tantalizing smell of roasting meat filled the air. I'm going to kill her. Should I kill her? It's going to be pure self-defense anyway. A week of this will be the death of me. <laughs> I thought a couple of da days had already passed. With a sigh, he tried very hard to calm down. <laughs> when his thoughts returned to their usual cadence... Cadence? 
and he stood in front of the stone saint and slowly exhaled. It was time to learn. <laughs> and Effie's gonna watch. Watch me, Effie. <laughs> watch. <laughs> On his way back to the cathedral, Sonny had made a hard decision. He decided not to augment his body with the power of the shadow during his practice with the stone saint. Even though he knew that this was going to bring him a lot of pain in the future, he was adamant about his choice. There were several reasons why he wanted to face his pet monster with his own physical ability and nothing else. The first and most simple reason was that Sunny knew that the shadow would not always be there when he needed it. Just like during the battle against the Spire Messenger, when it had been away scouting, circumstances in which he was going to have to rely on nothing but his own prowess were bound to happen. Not to mention that it had been his own reflexes and not the shadow that saved him from being cut in half cut in halves by the Black Knight. The second reason was less evident. It had to do with the existing hierarchy of power in the Dark City. At the very top, there was the Fallen. Beneath them, those creatures that were merely awakened, and at the very bottom, sleepers. Any fight that a human could face in that cursed place was going to be against an overwhelming force. With time, Sunny had adjusted to this reality and was able to these days, to face the lower classes of the awakened abominations on almost equal terms, with the help of the shadow. He was still weaker, but not by that much. However, deep down he knew that, sooner or later, he would be forced to fight against fallen enemies, and he was also almost sure that he would have to cross swords with humans that had saturated their course to the brim with soul essence, and were thus much stronger than him. For that reason, his experience hunting monsters who were not much stronger than his augmented self was actually an, imp an impediment. It dulled his edge and made him forget what it actually meant to struggle against an enemy who was leagues above him. The knowledge and mindset that he desperately needed to retain to have a chance of surviving the future. He had to keep himself humble. And lastly, there was one truth that he had learned during these six months on the Forgotten Shore and it was that nothing was more beneficial to one's growth than fighting against a superior opponent, especially if that fight ended in your loss. One defeat taught a person more than a dozen victories against weaker enemies would. The problem was that, in this cursed place, any defeat mean meant death. So Sunny actually had little experience losing to someone. From start to finish, he tasted loss only three times. Once in a battle against the Carapace Centurion, once when he had faced Nephis under the branches of the Soul Tree, and once in this very cathedral, when the Black Knight's sword had sliced his stomach open. Each of those defeats taught him more than anything else did. So, having the opportunity to fight with a monster who was much more powerful than him, and yet had no desire to kill him, was an extremely rare and precious opportunity. That's why Sonny steeled himself and let the shadow rest on the floor while he faced the Stone Saint. Taking a deep breath, he summoned the Midnight Shard, assumed a defensive stance, and looked the menacing Stone Knight right in the eyes. Attack me. <laughs> Not wasting even a second, she did just as she was told. Oh, crap. <laughs> what did you expect? That she wouldn't? Like, this is what you wanted. <laughs> Come on. Kumo's in the chat, what the fuck? Crazy. I see you, I see you. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, pausing this. Welcome, Kumo. Now proceeding. Chapter 185. Battlemaster. Also drinking. I forgot. The shadow attacked with the vicious strength of a true monster. <laughs> All out. Knowing perfectly well that his strength was not enough to block her sword, Sunny desperately moved the Midnight Shard to deflect the strike to the side. 
The countless hours of practice and hundreds of thousands of times he had repeated his katas had not been in vain. His body moved with lightning speed, placing the blade in the path of the stone saint's weapon just at, at just the right angle. Feeling the impact reverberate in his bones, Sunny gasped from the pain and stood his ground. Guided by the midnight shard, the shadow sword glided to the side and missed his body by a wide margin. However, before Sunny had time to congratulate himself, the saint simply continued moving forward and slammed into him. Being hit by her shield felt like crashing into a stone wall at high speed. Flying back, Sunny impacted against an actual wall and rolled to the floor. A small yelp escaped from his lips. <laughs> what is Effie doing? I swear to God. Getting distracted from her food for a moment. Oh my God. She didn't even look. Effie glanced at him and called. Sunny, you're alive? He weakly raised a hand and brought his thumb and index finger together in the shape of a circle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she doesn't even care. The hunter smiled. Good. Don't die yet, all right? It's going to be really inconvenient for me to get out of here without your help. Sunny gritted his teeth. Is that all you care about? I'll try. Slowly rising to his feet, he staggered and had to lean on the wall for balance. The stone saint returned to her spot and stood there indifferently, not paying any attention to his furious glare. <laughs> with a heavy sigh, no, with a heavy sigh, Sunny walked back to stand in front of her, raised the midnight chart, and spat. Again. <laughs> Over the course of the next few days, Sunny often wondered if he had really gone mad. Otherwise, why would he willingly subject himself to this torture? Out of the three, the time he was spending in the deadly maze of the Dark City was by far the least dreadful. He even found himself enjoying it a great deal. I didn't even fucking read the previous sentence, so I'll do that again. Otherwise, why would he willingly subject himself to this torture? His life now consisted of only three things. Spending time with Effie, practicing with the Stone Saint, and exploring the cursed ruins. Out of the three, the time he was spending in the deadly maze of the Dark City was by far the least dreadful. <laughs> he even found himself enjoying it a great deal. Once you begin thinking about a cursed ancient ruin teeming with abominable creatures as a comforting place, you should really start thinking about your life choices. Take that with you, everyone. <laughs> everyone, keep that in mind. And yet... Sonny knew that he was on the right track. Painful as they were, his training sessions with the menacing shadow had turned out to be even more advantageous than he, had imag than he imagined. Every bruise, every cut, every drop of blood that he spilled was making him stronger. Mm. After a long period of stagnation, his technique was finally improving again, and it was doing so with noticeable speed. The best thing about it was that he had not even scratched the surface of the immense didactic potential of the Battlemaster attribute. For someone like him, who had never received a formal education in combat, it was simply a boon. It was a hidden treasure. Back when he had observed the shadow in the fight against a Carapace Centurion, he had noted her distinct battle style. The Tacitern creature fought with the firmness of stone, combining flawless defense with devastating offense. Each action was efficient and perfectly calculated, with blocks, dodges, and deflections leading into deadly repo reposts? Reposties. I don't know. Deadly blows. <laughs> it was solid, indomitable, and inevitable. However, this was not the only battle style that the Zone Saint was perfectly proficient in. Rather, it was something that she used based on her current weapons and opponents. Back when her original... Yeah, back when her original fought against two harrowing fallen beasts, her style was reckless and brutal, disregarding any form of defense in favor of an endless onslaught of vicious attacks. Although he, there were some fundamental, foundational similarities between them, these two techniques were vastly different. It seemed as though she was able to switch between countless styles to suit the situation. Sunny couldn't wish for a better sparring partner. His own style, or rather, the kernel of one that he had given, that he had been given, 
that he had the that had been given him by Nephis. Okay, so he typed it wrong because I was like, I'm going insane. <laughs> the kernel of one that had been given to him by Nephis was flowing and unpredictable. It focused on adaptability and making it impossible for the enemy to anticipate your next move. The more Sonny fought against the Stone Saint, the more he realized how extraordinary it actually was. However, it didn't mean that this style couldn't be improved. In fact, Sonny suspected that it was actually designed with the intention of being able to incorporate various elements from other sources. If so, it was a perfect foundational style to learn. All of this made him wonder where this strange style had come from, and if Changing Star had taught him its basics for a reason. In any case, he was determined to make sense of it, improve his mastery of the things he had already learned, and begin to incorporate elements of Stone Saint Stark technique into his own. However, this was easier said than done. I don't know how many fucking times I've said however already. I'm... <laughs> At first, fighting against the menacing shadow appeared to be almost impossible. Every time he was... Every time he gave her the command to attack... He would inevitably end up on the floor in mere moments, groaning and consumed with pain. His whole body was bruised black and hurting terribly. If not for the tenacious enchantments of Bloodweave, Sunny did not know if he would have been able to continue. Or at least continue at an acceptable rate. With its help, however, the speed of his recovery was considerably faster. It was almost inhuman. Because of that, he was able to train more intensely and for longer periods of time. Just as he had expected, every defeat taught him something new. Losing to a superior opponent was the best way to improve, indeed. Back in the real world, many people were foolishly obsessed with their pride and lived for nothing but to achieve vic victories against others. Not Sunny, though. He was perfectly content with losing time after time, as long as he continued to become stronger with each loss. The only person he wanted to defeat was the version of himself from the last fight over and over again. Just like that, he had slowly begun to put up at least some resistance to the Stone Saint. At first, he was happy with being able to deflect one attack, then two, then several. Before too long, he stopped counting the numbers of attacks and started counting the number of seconds he remained on his feet. It was just a couple at first, then four or five, then a dozen. Finally, he was able to fight with the menacing Stone Saint for vast amounts of time, Sometimes even up to a minute. Even Effie seemed to be impressed. See, she usually paid little attention to his training. But after some time, Sunny noticed her glancing in his direction more and more. <laughs> At first, he thought that the unruly huntress simply enjoyed watching him suffer in his suffering. <laughs> Probably. But then he realized that she was actually trying to learn from his mistakes too. Sunny didn't mind. His movement slowly became more confident, purposeful, and precise. His body, while damaged and bruised, was brimming with strength and agility. He was maturing. Oh my god, he's actually trained. Like he, like she said. <laughs> he's maturing. <laughs> I see, okay. Uh, they really, he really had to write the word maturing. He really did. I love a training arc. Only if Effie's in it. <laughs> oh my god. Maturing. Oh. It was then, when his spars with the shadow turned less one sided, that Sunny noticed something strange. And when he did, everything changed. <sighs> that he was maturing and now he could switch. <laughs> okay. But it turned less one-sided. What could it be? What could it be? What is it that he could have noticed? I'm just putting my hair up because I'm annoyed. It's getting in my way. Oh. There we go. All good. 
<gasps> Eureka! Chapter 186. Eureka. It took Sunny a long time to perceive the anomaly for several reasons. To begin with, it was so subtle that it was almost impossible to notice. His whole mind was concentrated on the thoughts of battle technique and styles, and still, he only saw it by accident. The second reason had to do with his decision. <laughs> the second reason had to do with his decision to face the Stone Saint without the augmentation of his aspect ability. Because of it, the shadow had nothing to do. It returned to acting as a proper shadow and obediently repeated his every movement while he fought. The last reason was Effie, or more specifically, the fact that she had brought a source of light into the hidden lair, making the shadow actually visible. Because of this unlikely combination of events, Sunny was able to see it. He was in the middle of a fierce battle against the Stone Saint, sweat and blood trickling down his battered body, the clamor of swords clashing against each other permeated the chamber, drowning the raspy sound of his laborious breathing. Breathing. Laborious? Laborious? <laughs> Deflecting another blow, Sunny swiftly crushed and let the edge of the creature's shield whistle through the air above his head. His rather clumsy attempts to imitate one of the Stone Saint's explosive reposts was easily blocked, and the two of them continued the duel. This time, it lasted for an especially long time. Sunny was pretty sure that he had already withstood the oppressive assault of the monster for one and a half minutes. If true, this was his personal best. I love that he says that he's like, I was in a fierce battle against a stone saint. I was in the middle of a fierce battle. And it's like, it's been maybe one and a half minutes. <laughs> it's like, I understand that it's like, she's going fucking all in from the beginning. So it starts off fierce, but it's like, it sounds... Not so fierce <laughs> when you know that it's like a minute has passed. <laughs> it's like, yeah, a fierce battle. <laughs> it makes sense, but still, it's funny. <laughs> After countless bars like this, he would sometimes enter a special state of flow. In it, his mind was clear, calm and clear, operating at a tremendous speed. When Sunny entered this state, his attention became simultaneously sharp like a blade and strangely unfocused. They say the word slows down when you're in a serious fight. <laughs> That's true, and this is serious. Normally, he would have to concentrate on specific details, like watching the enemy's footwork to predict where the next blow would come from. Sunny was even able to split his mind in two, with one part of it absorbing the information that came through his eyes, while the other was preoccupied with what the shadow saw. In this way, he could either concentrate on two enemies at the same time or have a full view of his surroundings, so that no one could sneak up on him from behind. However, <laughs> It came back. With his attention not focused on anything, he was somehow capable of perceiving everything, every detail, be it the enemy's footwork, the direction of their gaze, or the slight change in the environment simply became a part of the all-encompassing tapestry that he perceived as a whole. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I can see everywhere, every angle, right, left. <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> oh. Needless to say, his ability to see everything simultaneously and think with sufficient speed to act on it dramatically boosted his combat performance. It was consonant with, with and felt like a natural continuation of the strange sense of clarity that he had achieved after almost dying in the battle against his first Carapace Centurion. Right then, Sunny entered this state of flow once again. After a few more exchanges, he suddenly noticed that there was something strange about his shadow. Instinctively, he paid it more attention while continuing to fight. It was then that he realized that his shadow's movements, while almost exactly like his, were actually not the same. There was a very slight, almost imperceptible difference. 
but he could feel something vast and profound hiding in his profound hiding in this tiny divergence. Stunned, he slowed down and stared at the shadow. What? What did I just see? Sunny was so stunned, in fact, that for a moment he completely forgot where he was. In the next second, the rim of the stone saint's shield hit him in the chest, sending him flying at the wall once again. Sunny crashed into the cold stones, fell to the floor, and weakly groaned. Ouch, that one hurts. However, he immediately forgot about the pain. Sitting up, Sunny stared at his shadow with wide eyes. This... This is... What did he see? The shadow's movements, while exactly like his own, were also different. It was... It was... Like it's not his own shadow? Like it's someone else's. As though a light ignited in his head, or rather became drowned in shadows, Sunny suddenly had an epiphany. This revelation was so astonishing that he almost cried out, cried out loud. The divergence between him and his shadow was not random, nor was it chaotic. It was consistent and harmonious, hinting at a deeper meaning. And that meaning was that his shadow had a battle style of his own. What? Sunny only saw a glimpse of it through the slight discrepancy in their movements. If someone didn't know the shadow as well as he did, they would never notice anything. Even he only saw it by accident. What he saw wasn't enough to discern anything about the battle style except for the fact that it existed. He was also able to sense its essence. It was flowing and insidious, shapeless and ever-changing, like the shadow itself. What the fuck? FEB, like, did he finally lose your mind? <laughs> right. He's finally going insane. This description was so close to its nature that Sunny felt it was safe to assume that the movements of the battle style were not something the Shadow performed on purpose, but rather a manifestation of its innate quality. Did, did his Shadow have a battle art fused into its very being? It is an invaluable helper he whispered. If this was true, then Sunny had just found the answer to the question that had been tormenting him for the last few days. While the battle style entrusted to him by Nephis was versatile and deadly, and the technique of the stone saint was indomitable and oppressive, they were not his own. No matter how much he practiced them, he felt that there was something missing. Individuality. Only by creating a style of his own would Sunny be able to become equal to the best fighters out there. Until then, he would always be just an imitator. A shadow. <laughs> of course, creating a true battle style was not something that a novice like him was capable of doing. More than that, there was a difference between knowing that the mysterious shadow style existed and actually understanding what it was. But still, still, it was a beginning. If he learned the secret hiding inside his shadow and combined it with the flowing adaptability of his current style, what would the result be? Standing up, Sonny spat a mouthful of blood, wiped the sweat of his brow and walked over to his tormentor, the stone saint. Raising the midnight chart, he gritted his teeth and said, Again! Soon, the clangor of swords resounded in the hidden chamber once more. Only this time, Sonny paid close attention to his shadow. So he's going to imitate the shadow instead. <laughs> what? He's like, I will be just an imitator. I will imitate the shadow style. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? He did say, though, that he was like, and he will take the shadow style and the his current, like, adapted, like, and his current style. Like, what would those things be? And that would technically be his own. Right, but still, it's like, oh, I need to be myself. And then it's like, I'll take this one instead. <laughs> mm. But yes, I get it. Cool. Yes, very cool. Very nice. Very sweet. Okay. Ouch. Oh, Chapter 187 Trial of Strength Trying to learn the secrets of the shadow was a very slow process. 
Sonny could only see glimpses of the mysterious battle style while fighting against a stone saint. I like itchy. <laughs> and doing so usually required his full attention. As long as he wasn't fully concentrated on his opponent, their clashes ended in mere seconds, making so that there was nothing to observe. But when he concentrated on the battle at hand, he couldn't really pay any attention to the shadow, which in turn elimina eliminated the possibility of observing it. Finding the right balance between the two tasks was not easy, not to mention painful. Every time he failed, a new bruise appeared on his body. And yet, there was progress. Although Sunny was still unable to peer into the depths of the battle art, he was slowly beginning to get a feel for it. His shadow was more treacherous, fluid, and malleable than he was. There was a hint of a graceful cadence to its movements that lacked in his. It was as though it was performing a dance. A shadow dance. <laughs> Sunny will become the shadow dancer. Ah! <laughs> Beautiful. Frustrated by the lack of a breakthrough, Sonny wanted to push himself harder, but had to stop himself. Even considering the tenacious effects of the blood weave, his training regimen had already bought his body, brought his body to its limits. He needed to preserve his condition if he was going to join Nephis on her long expedition. The Dance of Shadows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he wanted to enter the labyrinth while crippled with exhaustion and injuries, of course. What Sonny failed to realize due to the lack of experience and the fact that he had been mostly self-taught was that his accomplishments had already made him an outlier as far as humans went. Most novices weren't even able to master the superficial aspects of different battle styles, let alone recognize their fundamental traits for what they were. They simply followed the rules without understanding them, regarding styles as something ino indubitable and rigid. Only the most experienced fighters had enough understanding of the essence of a battle art to attempt to manipulate it. So he was already far ahead of the curve. But since Sonny never had a proper mentor, he had no idea what that he was trying to accomplish something that an average human would never be able to do. His only point of reference was Nephis who was an absolute outlier herself. <gasps> Thank you so much for the follow! How do I say this? Arian Parak... Park... Parak... <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I'll bow my little... My little hat to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sorry for the slaughter of the name. <laughs> uh, fundamental traits of what they were, so we had to curve the reference for Nephis. If renowned masters of combat arts were to learn that a self taught youth from the outskirts had managed to dismantle two incredibly complex battle styles into basic elements and assemble them together to better suit his tastes, while also trying to learn a third one from his shadow, they would be stunned. <laughs> However, Sonny just thought that he was unsuccessful and incredibly slow. Ah, uh, maybe I'm just stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Picking himself up from the floor, Sonny sighed and wiped the sweat off his forehead. Then he glanced at the stone saint and leaned on the wall. You're done for today? Effie was nearby, doing, dying from boredom. Watching Sonny torture himself was not way, <laughs> was her only way to entertain herself in this dark room. Well, that and torturing him herself among other things among other things whatever he gave her a tired nod yeah i think so it's already dusk so i'll probably rest for a bit and go out the huntress narrowed her eyes by the way i wanted to ask how do you even know what time of day it is there's no windows here and we can't hear the sea yet he glanced at her with a gloomy expression and reluctantly answered the shadow of the crimson spire i can feel it Effie blinked a couple of times, then shrugged. Ah, I see. 
Anyway, since you're done, can I have a turn with your girlfriend? <laughs> Sunny gritted his teeth and answered without even thinking. She's not my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else would it have been that he said? <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> Only then did he realize what Effie was asking. She had never shown interest in sparring with the Stone Saint before. Why now? After <laughs> that, I'll have a turn with you. Oh my. Yeah. Mojo, no. <laughs> I mean, yes. Okay, um, not that it mattered. A and no, you can't. The hunter tilted her head. What? Why? Sunny scoffed. Do I need to explain it? It's too dangerous. What if something happens to you? Effie giggled. So let me get this straight. You can train with her all day, every day. But you think that, for me, she's too tough? He shook his head. Don't misunderstand. It's just that if something happens to me, the worst outcome is that I die. If something happens to you, however, I'm going to get killed by Nephis. The end result is the same, but one way is vastly better than the other. Get it? She crossed her arms. Oh, come on. I just want to see which one of us is stronger. Sunny scowled. No way. Don't even think about it. Evie silently glared at him. I said no, okay? There's no way I'm letting you fight her. The hunter grinned. All right. That's not going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's going to do it anyway. Like, she's going to do some shit. Like <laughs> She's going to. She's going to. A few moments later, Sunny was staring at the scene in front of him in disbelief. How did it come to this? Leaning over the opulent wooden table stood Effie and the Stone Saint. The elbows of their right hands rested on the table. <laughs> They're gonna arm wrestle! Yes! While their palms were pressed against each other. The shadow was taciturn and indifferent, while the huntress was full of enthusiasm. They were preparing to arm wrestle. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> no way! Are you kidding? What? Hello! Solstice! Oh my god, amazing name. I don't know if you're aware, but the author just posted your Twitch in the announcement channel of his Discord. No, that didn't happen! You're kidding! I don't- I'm not in the Discord! <gasps> what?! <laughs> you're kidding! No, there's no way. I'm not in the Discord because I'm scared of spoilers. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to join the- I really- Like, all I want in my life right now is to join the Discord. But I'm too scared. No, you're kidding! Oh, I'm gonna ask a reliable, a reliable source later that I know- I, Not that I don't trust you, not at all, but I need to have it confirmed. No way. Oh, yeah, we reached a follower goal. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Solstice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You want the screenshot? I kind of want the screenshots. Oh! I have my own Discord channel, by the way. Please join it. <laughs> what the fuck? You were joking. I was literally... Okay, I talk... Okay, every time when I talk, like, off stream, I was like, I... It would be so cool if, like, the... I want to talk to the author so bad. <laughs> and I was like, I hope he doesn't dislike this. I'm so scared. I don't, like, I want him. He seems nice. Thank you, do follow a couple. Yeah! So if that literally just happened, that would, like, make my year, like, that would my life. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 like there is no way that this happened. You're kidding. What the fuck is this? I'm looking at the guilty guild. That's so cute. Anyway, if anyone of you guys is so inclined, you can visit the stream or visit the Sony Center if you do though. Wait, what? What did he type? There's no way that this ha Can I see the full posts? I'm told- Okay, this is- Are you- 
Oh, wait, I'll show this. I'll show this on stream. There is no way in hell that this is real. What? Are you joke? Are you fucking with me? If you're fucking with me. Hello, Manti. I know what you did. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it. Are you kidding? I am gonna die. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, you see it. Oh, you're seeing it. You're seeing it. My bad. Because I opened it, obviously. Oh my god. It says, Is there a gil- oh, I am told there is a third streamer doing a live reading of Shadow Slave chapters for Shadow Slave Week in preparation for Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> or is it because of the winter solstice? Ah, oh, that's true! That's true! Anyway, if anyone of you guys is so inclined, you can visit the stream or revisit the day Sunny spent in the Dark City. If you do, though, be respectful and don't spoil anything for the audience there. Ah! <laughs> You're kidding! You are kidding with me! This is not happening! <laughs> this is not happening! What? Oh, uh, you still do it! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> no way! Thank you so much for the follow! Sworn Riot! Sworn Ranjan! Thank you so much! I appreciate it so much! What the fuck? This is insane! I can't believe it! <laughs> I can't believe it! I will show it again. <laughs> I'll bask in its glory. Oh my fucking god. Look at it. Look at it. That is him. <laughs> I'm so happy and I'm so embarrassed at the same time. <laughs> Wow! I have okay for the new people. Thank you so much. That's amazing. I need to know how the fuck he found out about this. That is insane. This is indeed Shadow Slave Week because I'm reading Shadow Slave all week instead of only Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I read up until here. I read every Tuesday and Thursday, so I read the whole story. Not just this week. All on stream. All of it is on YouTube. There are vods of everything. I've asked 10 minutes to be connected on Twitch. Oh, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, <laughs> I can't. I can't. Like, I'm starstruck. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's me, dude. That's me. Oh, so yes, I read the whole... Going in first time, I have no idea what this is. It was just recommended to me. No, it wasn't recommended to me. I found this by myself because I was like, I'll read something. And then I ended up reading this. And then I found a lot of fucking amazing people. Everyone that has come from this type of community, you know what this is, is fucking amazing. And no one spoiled anything so far, so... Please be <laughs> careful, because I don't want anything spoiled. Thank you so much, Leo Regnaro, for the follow. Thank you, I appreciate it so much. <laughs> See, I've read from the first chapter to this chapter. We're right now on chapter 187. Uh, please, <laughs> please feel free to watch the earlier ones or watch the ones that I'm going to continue doing. Uh, thank you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm a... Uh... <laughs> okay. I'm like, can I even continue this now? Like, this is like the biggest shit that's ever happened to me. How did he find out? If anyone know how he found out, please tell me. Oh, thank you. The bots are on YouTube for the earlier chapters, by the way. They are. I upload them all the time. I read every t Tuesday and Thursday, as I said. Hello. I <laughs> don't remember Saint and Effie hand wrestle. It's chapter 187, Trial of Strength. They're just gonna do it. I'm fucking... I look forward to it. But, okay, I'm gonna stop stalling. I'll... Thank you, everyone, so much. Thank you, Guilty3. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. 
Um, I hope you enjoy and stay and be nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, continuing. Where did I even left off? How did it come to this? Yes, how did it? <laughs> oh, yeah, Huntress is full of... Uh, I'll just continue from there. I am too starstruck, yes. He reads the messages. Oh, what an adorable person. Someone mentioned you in Discord? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's insane. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll try to just calm down. I won't forget this, but I have to try and just continue reading. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> to whoever did that, you're a goat. You're goaded. All of you else, also goaded. <laughs> anyway. Leaning over the opulent wooden table stood Effie and the Stone Saint. The elbows of their right hands rested on the table, while their palms were pressed against each other. The shadow was taciturn and indifferent, while the huntress was full of enthusiasm. They were preparing to arm wrestle. Effie glanced at him and grinned. Wanna bet who's going to win? If I overpower, if I overpower your girlfriend, you'll owe me a shard. No, ten shards! <laughs> Bitch, I have so many. You can take ten shards. It's fine. Ugh. Sunny side. What if you lose? Ooh. <laughs> Effie? <laughs> the unruly huntress winked at him. You know what? I don't even want to know. I don't gamble, so forget about it. <sighs> Fuck it. Effie side. So boring. Anyway, let's do this. She gripped the stone saint's hand and prepared to wrestle. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, lose, Effie, lose, lose, lose. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> Instantly, both the Shadow and the Huntress tried to, tried to bring the opponent's arm down. The table groaned, subjected to a crushing amount of pressure. For a moment, it seemed that the Stone Saint was on the losing side, but in the end, her hand only moved by a millimeter. The monster stared at the young woman with, the ruby eye with her ruby eyes. Her face hidden behind the visor of the helmet. There was no emotion in her gaze. Effie's hazel eyes, on the contrary, were full of mirth. There was a relaxed smile frozen on her face. However, Sunny could see that she was putting her all into the struggle. The lean muscles taunted... No, <laughs> taut... Tautened? I don't know this word. Tautened under the olive skin of her back. Her whole body was like a loaded spring. Brimming, brimming. I am so overwhelmed. I can't speak. I'm, oh, okay, calming down again. <sighs> brimming with strength and overwhelming power. And yet, the shadow's hand did not move. I figured, but thank you anyway. It seemed as though neither of them could overpower the other. Huh, I wonder who will give up first. A second after second passed in silence, but nothing changed. Both Effie and the Stone Saint were persisting, not giving up even a tiny bit of ground. The amount of strength they were exerting to keep this violet balance made Sunny sweat a little. Volatile balance. <laughs> They're both monsters. <laughs> In the end, the first one to give up was the table. Not able to withstand the pressure anymore, it simply exploded. <laughs> The table gave up. <laughs> End me, it said. I can't take this anymore. Oh. Covering his face to protect it from flying splinters, Sunny froze for a moment, then stared at the pile of tiny debris. A feeling of deep sorrow and indignation pierced his heart. Oh, oh no, my table. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Not the table. <laughs> Oh, well, they can do they. I wonder if they still have their arms like in the air, even though the the table is not there, or if they're just like, or if the fight ended now. I need to know this. Please tell me this.
Chapter 188 of Heaven and Hell and Drink. You can't even find wood in the city. Oh, oh not the table then. Oh, first his chair and then now his table. Poor guy. Yes! <laughs> Literally what I said. <laughs> Ah. Just like that, a week had passed. Miraculously, Sonny had survived. Even more miraculously, he had somehow managed not to kill Effie, which was a big accomplishment in and of itself. In fact, by the end of it, their forced cohabitation had turned rather pleasant. Mm, okay. <laughs> Is the bed still intact? <laughs> They were both solitary hunters, after all. <laughs> there was an instinctive understanding between the two of them. <laughs> there is an instinctive understanding between them, I don't know. <laughs> His overall combat skill and particularly comprehension of both his own battle style and that of the Stone Saint had improved by leaps and bounds. He felt faster, stronger, and better prepared <laughs> to face the horrors of the Dream Realm. Hmm, yeah, sure. I I still like I wanted to know when the arm wrestled though. I guess they just ended it when the table fucking broke. That's so sad. No, Mandy, no. <laughs> I'm just easing the new people in, you know? Like, this is how it is. This is what this story is actually about. We all know it. <laughs> uh, although he had yet to reach the same level of physical power that he had possessed before sacrificing a hundred shadow fragments to create the Shadow Saint, Sunny felt that the current him was far deadlier of an opponent. Of an opponent. Which was good. Considering how fast the grim future was approaching. How fast the grim future was approaching. <gasps> oh, that's a good word. I like that. <laughs> but also, no. But yes. <laughs> but that, as I've said 100 times before, this, like, it's not me anymore. Like, this fucking story. This is just what this shit is. <laughs> like, if he is in this, for fuck's sake. Okay. Currently, Sunny and Effie were sitting on the support beam of the main hall of the cathedral, looking down from the head-spinning height. Far below and away from them, the Black Knight walked through the patches of light and darkness, continuing his never-ending patrol. Effie scowled, then whispered. No, I did not. <laughs> no, I didn't. So, this is the bastard. Sunny gave her a gloomy nod. Yep, in the flesh, or whatever he has instead of it. The unruly huntress gave him a long look. How the hell did you manage to live for a fight with that fiend? He grimaced. Barely. Also, calling it a fight is giving me too much credit. I just got myself gutted and crawled outside. He never leaves the cathedral, so I got away. She shivered. Are you sure that he won't hear us? Sunny pointed down. As long as he doesn't walk past that column, and as long as we're not too loud and keep our voices down, we're safe. Trust me, I've been studying that bastard for two whole months. We didn't see. Catracer was here in the beginning, but he is uh, finishing off the previous watch, so he can't be here because spoilers. So we did. I did. Very quickly. He said hello and left. <laughs> Effie suddenly grinned. So, how loud are we talking about? Because I can promise to... Sunny rolled his eyes. Can you stop? We're in a temple, for God's sake. <laughs> and? And? <laughs> what about him? Hmm? And? <laughs> We're in a temple, for God's sake. <laughs> Beautiful, nice. 
Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he didn't need to hear the end of the phrase to know that it was going to be highly suggestive and very inappropriate. <laughs> dead yes <laughs> see it's fine it's fine I'm not in front of the gods there are no gods he shared how he found me share with me <gasps> he shared how he found me. he replied oh what a what is this can i share this i will Oh, wait, I was saying. No, I. I looked. Here it is. Here it comes. How did you find out about the small sis Twitch? Is it really seen? I made her day. It did! Hello, Tech! YouTube kept recommending me the VODs. Ah, yes! <laughs> I looked one up out of curiosity and immediately saw her find a typo in literally the last sentence of the first volume. <laughs> one of the VODs told me more. <laughs> Finding your typos. <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> oh, I love that he was like, fuck. <laughs> the first thing he watches me do is shit on him. <laughs> yes, Tech. Yes. It is him. Look in the Discord, Tech. Look in the Discord. My God. I'm so sorry, Guilty3. You're awesome. You're amazing. I'm so sorry that I'm finding your typos and sharing them with the world. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much, also, for if he ever sees this. Thank you so much for letting me do this. You seem to let me do this, at least. Thank you. It is like literally the best thing I've ever done. Oh my fucking god, that is crazy. All the artists. <laughs> Once again, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> don't send me to the dream realm, please. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for asking him. Crazy that he replied so fast. What the fuck? A fucking legend. This is this day is legendary. I don't know what to say. It's just this has spiraled into something that I never thought it would, and I just like to read. I just like to read this and shit on it with love, mind you. Joke around with it and people like it people enjoy it then i enjoy the people that come and enjoy it so it's perfect it's a happy circle <laughs> oh guilty three has watched me <laughs> he watched me please shit on it with love that's what i do that's what <laughs> i don't shit on it but it's like i mean i've mentioned his however it's like i don't know how many times but it's fun. Like, I don't mind. I don't actually mind. It's just funny. It is quite the phrase. <laughs> I will stand by it, I guess. <laughs> oh, try not to fangle too much. Bitch, this is what I do two times a week. How can I not? I've dedicated a week to this man. Of course I have to. Thank you, Taste Milk Zero. Beautiful name. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tack, how can I not? <laughs> this is the man. He wrote this. <laughs> oh, okay. Continuing to read. Thank you again. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yes, me too. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. Hope you enjoy it. I can't blame it. Ah, thank you. <laughs> oh, 
okay composing myself again i was like just getting back and i was like more i'm like i can't take it anymore mm. uh, <clears throat> amazing that my thoughts get recommended on his youtube that is insane literally insane youtube w 100 percent as I said before, I upload all my mods, all the readings from literally the first chapter to this chapter, which is 187 now. All, it's all there if you're ever interested. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he watches them all. I probably think he just looked at it and be like, okay, what is this? <laughs> Oh, the mods told me more. So wait, he's mods? No, of course not. No, <laughs> that was you. That wasn't me. No, I still have so many questions. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. This is my first time. I've never... I know nothing about the story. Like, I know... I just know the words as I'm reading them. I have no idea what's gonna happen, going to happen about anything. Zero. I'm not spoiled on a single little thing. So, yes, I am. I've been told that I am. I am. I love this. <laughs> First time going in blind. We'll continue to go in blind until the end. Hopefully, if no one ruins it for me. I don't! Okay. I don't fear you, you asshole. <laughs> yes, okay, so the first one that I was look I like I did, I never streamed it, but I was going to read cuz I was like I'm going to read, you know? And I looked into the um I fucking don't remember what it was. Uh, I don't know if it was K Korean. I think it was Chinese. Um, that was called something the hundred levels. Hundred levels. Hundred sword levels. It w it was like top raider or some shit. And I started as like no, immediate nope. And then it's like I saw this instead, and I was like, oh, I'll try this. And can't stop so this is beautiful so this is now what we're doing <sighs> the rest is history yes the hype was real <laughs> <laughs> okay going continuing now from the line the amazing line can you stop we're in a temple for god's sake <laughs> He didn't need to hear yet. It was suggestive and inappropriate. Hmm. She quietly giggled. Fine, fine. After a couple of minutes passed in silence, Sunny looked down and saw that the pale light of dawn was slowly turning brighter. It was almost time for the two of them to leave the cathedral. He had yet to come to the final decision regarding Neff's request. Depending on his choice, he and Effie would, perhaps, never see each other again. Sunny quietly sighed. Then, turning to the huntress, he said, Hey, Effie, can I ask you something? She looked at him with a silent question in her eyes and shrugged. Sure. Go ahead, Dofus. <laughs> Dofus. <laughs> Hence the title Shadow's Life. Yes, so I've heard, like, um, I know someone more privately who talks to me more about it. Um, uh, and it's like a lot like you're you're blessed <laughs> that you don't have to wait. <laughs> and to the speed where I'm going, maybe I'll never have to wait. <laughs> we will see. We will see. But I've heard that it's the biggest struggle of mankind <laughs> to wait. But then again, Guilty 3 is so fucking fast. Like, damn, like he just shoots out these chapters. Wait, what? Have you clipped me and put it on the disc in his Discord? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, 
if you did, that's so fair. But thank you for the thank you, but oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! I read like 50, 100 chapters a day and got caught up so fast. Yeah, I'm not really there. I read Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, for two hours. I stream for around two hours. Get clips and get- Fuck you, Tack! You suck! <laughs> Fuck you. No! Okay, I have a fuck! Oh my god, I'm gonna get that sent to me later, I swear. Okay. I'm gonna continue reading now. Enjoy yourselves, assholes. <laughs> and thank you so much. I'm blessed. <laughs> he responded, no! <laughs> Stop, I'm panicking. Reading. She looked at him with sad dofus. Sunny hesitated. I'm gonna ignore this. Feeling the somber mood of the situation. Then, looking away, he said, Tell me honestly. Were you dropping your head a lot when you were a kid? What the fuck? <laughs> well, fine, I'll look at it soon. <laughs> Thank you. Effie blinked a couple of times, then suddenly pressed both hands against her mouth to suppress a laugh. In the process, she almost fell down from the support beam. Heaven, Sunny, do you want me to laugh out loud and get us both killed? What's up with that question? No, I was not. He looked at her with a dubious dick expression. Then why are you so damn cheerful all the time? It's not normal. You're like a crazy person. And I know a thing or two about that, mind you. The huntress smiled. Ah, that. Then she shrugged. It's simple, really. Sunny waited for the explanation, noticing an unfamiliar air of melancholy around the vigorous young woman. Her usual infectious vitality somehow felt lessened. It's because I don't think that this place is as bad as all of you seem to believe. Everyone in this dark city is convinced that this is hell. She hesitated. But to me, it's a paradise. Oh no, Effie has a dark backstory. Fuck me. <sighs> no. Oh, okay. Sunny glanced at her and frowned. How so? Don't. Is it long? It is long. Okay, before this gets depressing, I will look at the answer if... Guilty three. Her reaction is clips. I just sent. He just sent Evo. <laughs> like he just. <laughs> he laughed at it. Basically. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Hey, do. Bye, bye. Bye bye. Uh, <laughs> amazing that I responded. Why did he look at it? Fuck. <laughs> like, shit. I should show my best, the best, my best sides. <laughs> which are what? Which ones is my best sides? Uh, please don't imply imply things. Uh, uh, I've scolded people that do. There will be repercussions. I'm also like, I don't have anything against people that that uh, accidentally say things. Uh, that's just like unfortunate. If you're doing it to deliberately try and <laughs> not hurt, hurt me, sounds so bad, but like intentionally do it, then it's like. <sighs> Then you're an asshole. Then I will be like, nope, go away. But otherwise, it's like, I understand that you people just love this shit and want to share with it and everything. So, I, it doesn't make, like, it makes me angry if I get, like, seriously spoiled, which I haven't yet, which I haven't. I'm just, like, extremely scared all the time. Tech has a story. By the way, there was a storm last night and we got several weeks, so we might get some people in here to do some work on the buildings. I'm not sure how long that will take and if that will affect the call up state. Okay, but uh, let me know. And sorry about the leak, damn. <laughs> you did say that it was raining sideways <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I do remember that. Your swearing adds to the experience. <laughs> Swearing as an experience, but I noticed a no swearing thing causing shadow points. No! 
right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take that shit away. It does a good. <laughs> it adds to the experience. Thank you. There will be swearing. I also, I have a tag in on Twitch. Even uh, like, what is it like? Not violent language, but like, because hmm. <laughs> I felt like. When they added that, I'm like, maybe I should take this because I think that maybe I find a little swear word can appear somewhere. No tag. It's not a tag. It's like a, uh, I don't know what the fuck it is, <laughs> but it's something that you add to, uh, let me see. Oh, it's like, a. uh, uh you have to, you have to, Twitch, you have to, yes, mature rating, but not really. You have to say, like, if, if your stream includes, like, uh, drugs, uh, tobacco, gambling, uh, child, uh, what is it, like, you know, like, PG games, um, child forbidden games. I was gonna translate that weirdly from Swedish, but <laughs> that wasn't too good. And also, like, uh, vulgar language and uh, harsher swear words um, and shit like that. So I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Do it. Translate. I did. I did. Child forbidden. Child forbidden games. That's what I was going to do. But yeah. So it's not a tag, but yeah, whatever. Okay, not about Twitch things. No, no one gives a fuck. Everyone's here for Tired of Slave, and that's what you're gonna get. <sighs> I'm still amazed. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sad, sad effy time. I'm I'm scared. I don't want this to get sad. <laughs> ah, effy side. You wouldn't understand kicking her feet. Hey, hey, Agron! But for some of us, the real world was more of hell than the dream realm. <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> Sunny turned away, thinking about his one life in the outskirts. The reason he was able to adapt so well to the ruthless terror of the nightmare spell was because, at its core, it wasn't that different from his own reality. Still, what kind of paradise is this? A sad smile appeared on the young woman's face. The only kind we deserve, I guess. Then she looked at Sunny and asked, Say, Sunny, you're from the outskirts, right? So you didn't receive a lot of education, I bet. He shook his head. She chuckled. Well, not like I would have changed anything. Not like it would have changed anything. The schools are basically propaganda camps anyway. They teach kids some useful stuff, but also turn them un unable to ask questions and blind to the truth. Sunny raised an eyebrow. The truth? Effie gave him a nod. Ooh. I've got it announced. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have, Agro. <laughs> we deviated a lot from reading chapters today, which is understandable. It is understandable. That's just how shit work works. <laughs> this was very, very entertaining, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to me as well. Thank you so much. I still... I, I will even... Yeah, no. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> well, the VOD isn't uploaded yet, Agron. Call me your shit. <laughs> but afterwards, it will all be uploaded for everyone to see. <laughs> I was laughing too much. <laughs> I'm happy that it gave you joy. <laughs> We give and take here. We give and take. <laughs> oh, my God. The truth that our world is dying. Well, not the world, really. Just a part of the ecosystem that we need to survive. Something moved in his memory. A year or so before Sunny was born, a whole continent was lost because of Category 5 gate had opened on its coast. I remember this. They mentioned this in the beginning. But the Huntress quickly overturned his expectations. And I'm not talking about the Nightmare Spell. I'm talking about we, humans, have done to our planet without anyone's help. <laughs> Is this environment for you? <laughs> there were more than 10 billion people on Earth a couple of hundred years ago. Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> 
But now, there's barely three. Three people, goddammit! <laughs> And half of them only have food and shelter because of us awakened and the powers we possess. Which were given to us by the spell. She wasn't wrong. Sunny remembered the poisonous, acrid air of the outskirts. The inhuman conditions in the underground factory where his mother had worked. The towering barriers protecting the city from the deadly winds of the wasteland outside. He knew. Of course. I know this three billion you <laughs> <laughs> Oh really? Yes, I remember this. Uh. The towering barriers protecting the city from the deadly winds of the wasteland outside. He knew, of course, that the planet was not in a good shape compared to the past. But he never really thought about it that much. To him, this was simply how life always worked. Effie shrugged. Who knows how many of us would still be alive without the spell. I honestly don't know. But if you ask me, I think that one day in the future, more people will believe that this realm is a paradise, just like me. On that ominous note, she stood up and stretched her whole body, making, Surrey, making Sunny hurriedly look away. <laughs> Damn, pure thoughts, Sunny. Pure thoughts. Anyway, it's already morning. Time to meet up with the princess and the others. Let's go. Oh, the week has already passed. Oh, no! Effie time is over. No, Effie! Ah. Oh, Effie can never die, please. She's my favorite character. <laughs> I love Effie so much. Okay. Soon, they were standing in front of, in front of the cathedral. Hey, they're outside of the cathedral. Okay. The gods cannot see them here. <laughs> Effie. Okay. The morning sun was slowly crawling through the sky. Watching the ancient city in its pale light, Sunny and Effie did not have to wait long before Nephis and her companions appeared from the ruins. Sunny blinked. There was Changing Star herself. Castor, Cassie, and Kai. Kai! What the hell was he doing here? <laughs> Once the four sleepers approached and greeted them, Sunny immediately stared at the beautiful young man. Knight, um, why are you here, buddy? <laughs> Get clipped idiot. No, don't learn from Tack. <laughs> don't, don't learn from Tack. Ah, the archer smiled. Ah, I'm very happy to see you too, Sunny, my friend. Lady Nephis has already... No, what really? Lady Nephis has asked me to join her on this expedition. And after careful consideration, I have decided to agree. Oh my god. We're gonna be with Kai, Effie, or oh, Caster Cassian Nephis. This... <sighs> Best team? Best team? Yes? Oh my god. Sunny blinked a couple of times. All right, I know that I'm crazy, but when did you lose your mind too? Kai looked at him with a strange expression. Wait, crazy? What do you mean, you're crazy? Sunny sighed. Don't worry about it, I'm not really crazy. That much. Then he turned to Neff. Hello, Max! <laughs> Guess what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> Okay, I'll continue. I still have 20 more minutes to go. Then I can... Okay. Then I can fangirl by myself. <laughs> okay. Then he turned to Nev. About your request. I'm ready to join the expedition. But on one condition. I will not become a part of your cohort. Rather, you can provide sufficient compensation to acquire my services. <laughs> Nephis looked at him for a while, an inexorable expression on her face. Then she said in an even tone, Do you have something in mind? Sunny grinned. As a matter of fact, I do. Behind us, you can see a magnificent ancient cathedral. Inside the cathedral lives a creature which is called the Black Knight. He's a fallen devil. In return for my help during the expedition, I want your help after it's concluded. Once we return, he paused for a moment, and then he added, I want you to help me kill him. Ooh. A dead silence fell on the small square. 
After a while, Caster finally spoke, an expression of subtle shock on his face. Sonny, did you perhaps misspeak? We are only sleepers, after all. How are we supposed to kill that black knight of yours? A nightmare creature of his rank and class? Sonny's grin widened. Then, with an immense feeling of vindication, he looked at Caster and said, It's just a fallen devil. <laughs> Caster, are you baby? Hmm, Caster, don't want to miss with the devil. Me. Oh, that's the. Oh, okay. The sass, right? He's so happy. <laughs> he really pulled the Nephis. He pulled the Nephis. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Clip that. <laughs> he pulled that Nephis. Oh my god. Oh, hello, Sippy. Continuing. Chapter 189. Sunny's Brilliant Emporium. <laughs> Fuck yes. The, expression the expressions on the faces of Castor, Effie, and Kai were simply priceless. So, wait. Where is Cassie? Cassie is here. Oh, okay. She used to didn't make a weird face. Okay. I was like, where is Cassie? <laughs> okay, she's here. Sonny had to stop himself from laughing out loud. His shadow, however, did not. Luckily, it had no vocal cords, so all it could do was hold its stomach and shudder silently. Hey, you, behave yourself. Meanwhile, Nephis just looked at him. The corner of her mouth slightly curled upward. After a while, Castor was finally able to answer. Just a fallen devil. Did you... Did you say... J However, Changing Star interrupted him. Glancing at the cathedral, she simply shrugged and said, This is acceptable. <laughs> Everyone became silent. They simply stared at Neph with bewildered expressions. With some satisfaction, Sunny nodded and said, Don't be so quick to, to judge. We won't be going into the battle unprepared. I spent months studying the bastard. I love that he calls it the bastard every time, by the way. I know his every ability, every trick, and every weakness. More than that, if you can't even handle someone like him, how are you going to challenge Gunlog? Isn't that what this expedition is all about? How the Black Knight killed Gunlog. <laughs> Do it. Actually, he debated for a long time whether he should demand that they attack the Black Knight now or after the expedition was over. In the end, he decided that they were all too weak to face the devil. For now. But after months spent in the labyrinth, things were bound to change. There were more nightmare creatures out there, and most of them were not impossible to kill. By the end of the expedition, every member of the cohort was going to have much more soul lessons in their course than they had now. They would also have a wider arsenal of memories at their disposal. Disposal. <laughs> Thank you, Solstice. <laughs> you made it. You can only redeem one first um, uh, during a stream. So it's basically who does it first. Or who comes to the stream first. It depends. Congrats. You're first. <laughs> That's it. Enjoy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Cute. Amazing reaction. Okay. Uh, disposal. More importantly, they would have time to hone and perfect their teamwork. If they wanted to have a chance in a fight against the Black Knight, this was the most important part. Nephis nodded. Sunny is right. It's not like it's impossible to kill a fallen creature. In fact, both Gemma and Tessai had done so in the past, but not to mention Gunlog himself. It just takes a lot of preparation and a little bit of luck. By the end of this, we should be able to take on a single devil and win, provided that we learn its secrets in advance. Sunny smiled. Exactly. Oh, right. Speaking of preparations. I'm amazed Guilty 3 did a shout out. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Dude. Oh, 
Okay. Mm. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Honestly, a shad. <laughs> okay, I'll I will be less fangirly. I've done my part today. I feel I'm so sorry that I'm messing around too much. Ah, <sighs> okay. While everyone was looking at him with confusion, well, except Cassie, of course. He took the rucksack off, the sh off his shoulders and placed it on the ground. Then he opened it, revealing the soft shine of numerous soul shards. Welcome to Sunny's Brilliant Emporium. Ah! <laughs> He's such a fucking... Sunny really did it. He did it. He said it. What the fuck? This here is around 50 soul shards, each of them of the Awakened rank. Since we will be venturing into the labyrinth, I've decided to give you guys an opportunity to empower yourself a bit before facing the terrible dangers of the ghastly place. Of course, I'll give you a family discount. A family discount. Even to Caster, though? Hmm? Even to Caster? Hmm? Wouldn't it be so fun if he's like everyone? But not you. <laughs> like, not the Caster. <laughs> Sunny, welcome to Sunny's Brilliant Emporium. He really stood there and said that shit. That's amazing. He had emptied his treasure chest before leaving the hidden chamber. Currently, all of his remaining shards were inside the rucksack. Of course, he hadn't done so out of kindness of his heart. Sunny never had any money and so, understandably, didn't know a lot about how to handle it. But one thing he did know was that rich folk never allow their riches to sit idly. Even money had to work to create more money once it fell into the hands of the wealthy. In the language of rich people, this was called an investment. Sunny is investing. <sighs> Do I hear anyone say stocks? <laughs> <laughs> By investing his shards into the cohort, Sunny was increasing his own chances of making it back alive. No matter how hard he thought, he couldn't imagine a worthier cause. Plus, he wasn't going to just give the shards away for free. Ooh. Oh, the rules! The rules of the Emporium are rather simple. <laughs> what is this? Why did he turn NPC? Oh. You give me memories, I give you shards. I don't care about how powerful or useful the memories are. In fact, the worse, the better. Any useless junk you have gathered, gathering dust in your soul sea will do. If you don't have any, no problem. You can just promise to give me a memory in the future. Once you receive one in the labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> any useless junk you have gathering dust in your soul sea will do. <laughs> if you don't, no problem. <laughs> Such a salesman. Ah. <sighs> Dude, Gilly 3 is like the Like, he leaves you hanging every time. I love it. It's amazing. Uh, I I adore it. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> I stand by it. Continue. Never stop doing that. He smiled at the members of, the Nef of Nef's cohort. Not bad, right? No need to thank me, really. I love it if they were all like, no. We don't need this, retard. And then they're like, huh? Kai stared at the shards, then raised his eyes and looked at Sunny. Sunny, buddy, please forgive my bluntness, but why do you need all these memories? What a good question, Sunny grinned. Adds as many cliffhangers as possible. <laughs> yes, I'm with that. <laughs> Priorities. Uh, you see, how should I put this? Let's just say that there's a beauty I know who just can't get enough of them. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what? Saying that, he winked at the pretty archer. With a strange expression, Kai turned away and shook his head. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassed? No. The dot 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 at the end of each other. Yes, 100%. It always works. However, after this performance, no one else asked any questions. In the end, Sunny was able to exchange his shards for five memories. 
Nephis distributed the shards between the five members of the cohort, with each of them getting ten. This was a boon equal to slaying ten awakened beasts. After absorbing the shards, all five of them were going to receive a significant boost to their power. As far as deadly expeditions went, this was the best start possible. Without wasting any time, Nef, Cassie, Effie, Kai, and Castor absorbed the soul essence from the shards. While they were busy doing that, Sunny silently dove into his soul sea and fed the memories he had received to the Stone Saint. Stone Saint has grown stronger. Stone Saint has grown stronger. Stone Saint has grown stronger. Satisfied, he summoned the runes and glanced at them. Shadow, Stone Saint. Shadow Fragments, 27 out of 200. Then he looked at his own. Name, Sunless. True name, Lost from Light. Rank, Dreamer. Shadow Core, Dormant. Shadow Fragments, 318 out of 1000. Not bad. Looking south, he smiled darkly and wondered. How much would these numbers increase by the time he turned to the Dark City? It had to be by a lot. When everyone was done absorbing their shards and getting accustomed to the changes caused by the sudden influx of soul essence, the cohort was ready to move out. The six of them headed south, cautiously traversing the cursed city. Nephis was walking in front in uh, Nephis was walking in the front of the party. Her stark black and white plate armor contrasted sharply against the grey stones of the ancient ruins. A step behind her and to the right was Castor, clad in a polished scale mail that glistened in the morning light like the skin of a silver dragon. <laughs> a step behind her and to the right was Castor, clad in a polished scale mail that glistened in the morning light like the skin of a silver dragon. To her left was tall and powerful Effie, clad in the archaic bronze armor with a white chitin beneath. A few steps away, wearing his elegant lamellar armor made out of burnished brown leather, walked Kai. On his back, there was a quiver full of heavy arrows. Cassie was walking beside him, <laughs> her light tunic and bright cloak just the same as before. However, now there was a sheath with a graceful rapier attached to her belt. At the very back, with an unhappy expression on his face, was a pale young man with messy black hair and a ragged light armor made out of dark gray fabric and black lusterless leather. He was periodically lowering his gaze and grimacing, as though unaccustomed to being in the sun. <laughs> of course, it was sunny. Their journey to the edges of the <laughs> Their journey to the edges of the forgotten shore had begun. Oh my god, let's see what it's point of no return. Oh we will continue this amazing fucking story next time. <gasps> Tomorrow, if everything goes well. Because I work late. And Wednesdays, fuck me. Otherwise, it will be Thursday, 100%. I will try my best to do it on tomorrow, though. Eh, I have to end here now. And it's a good way to end, too. It's a good... It's a very good place to end. Extremely good place to end. Thank you so much. It was a great stream. And all of you who watched made it a thousand times better. You are all amazing and insane. <laughs> <laughs> like literally inside. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you. I will go over here now. Uh, today, I don't even know what to say about today. Like, uh, a dream come true. No, <laughs> literally, I've been talking about this for so long time. I never thought it would happen, but it did happen. It's crazy. It is actually crazy. I am amazed. That this little story it's not a little story anymore it's just amazing that this tiny little stream would do this is insane that is the insane part actually oh thank you for not skipping the stream <laughs> i will start the wall as well
Thank you so everyone. Thank you so everyone. I'm stunned still. I can't talk. Thank you so much everyone who came and watched the stream. Live VODs, however the fuck you watched it. Thank you so much for your continued support. It's amazing. Shadow Slave Week is going strong. Um miracles happen. <laughs> Well, thank you everyone so much. Please feel free to follow me on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. I have Patreon if you want to look at that and join the Discord for fuck's sake. You are, it's all mandatory. You have to join the Discord. That's just how it is. Thank you so much, Yelnir, for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. And we even hit the follower goal today, which is insane. I, oh, I, I'm still amazed by everything. I can't believe this happened. I'm so happy for everyone that clicked the link in that Discord and joined and enjoyed and hope you come back. It was very nice. You're all amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow or some other time or in the VODs. Who knows? But I'll see you. <laughs> Have a good rest of your day. Hey, Do. Bye bye.